Okay, we're live. We're live with uh, the uh, continuation of uh, Out of the Park Baseball 18, New York Giants 1936, No Color Barrier. Okay, we're live. Uh, up, we're uh, live with... Uh, there we go. Um, <coughs> excuse me. In the last... Uh, yesterday when I was on, what I ended up doing is doing a trade with Cleveland. And, uh... I, th I think it was, was it Cleveland. Yeah, I think it was. And uh, we got some new players. And two of them are on the main roster, I believe. Let me see. Who did I bring over? Uh, looking at my roster. I'm trying to remember. Uh, I believe, uh, let me look at that again, transactions log, okay, so, yeah, we got Fresco Thompson, Lloyd Brown, and, um, we also got some uh, additional help in um, uh, prospects with Jack Hallett and U. Alexander. And got another prospect in a third baseman. So the prospects are in the minor leagues. The two, Lloyd Brown and Fresco Thompson, are on our... 40-man spring training roster. Um, can look at that. And um, Lloyd Brown will help our bullpen. You can see his good movement. Um, good control. Not great stuff, but he, uh, he, you know, I think he can add to the bullpen. Um, and we desperately need bullpen. So, uh, and hello viewer. Looks like I have a viewer. Um, back to the, uh, where was I? All right, back to the team home screen. So, we have a couple, we're still in the exhibition, you know, in spring training. I um, think what we're going to do is we just played Pittsburgh, Brooklyn. You know what? Brooklyn. Let's play Brooklyn. We can move ahead after. We'll start with that. And let's check all lineups. <coughs> Excuse me. So that looks pretty good. Um, what I'm going to probably do is bring in my new second baseman a little bit later in the game. Actually, yeah. So, well, this is a spring training game, so lots of substitutions. So let's start the game. And. I should be getting this on here. Yes, I am. And this, there we go. You should be seeing the game any second now that I've sent it over. And um, here we go. So we are the home team today. And we are playing Brooklyn. And we start with, you see, I did the face gens. They're not necessarily realistic, but I didn't like the blank faces. So we'll start with the, the right fielder, Frenchy Bougare. That's quite a board of Oh, God, I'm butchering his name. And he starts off with a hit against A.J. Smith, Al, Al. J. Smith. So let's go into um, 
Let's see if we can get a double play on this guy. As Joe Strip, the third baseman, comes up. And fly out. One down. Lonnie Frey is up. The shortstop. Double play. And that ends the inning. Now we start. Uh, okay. We got Burgess Whitehead, the second baseman. He strikes out. Dick Bartell, our shortstop. He takes a walk. So one out, one on. Mallock comes up. And a fly ball. And that's going to be extra bases. And Ott's going to stop a third. That gets our first run in with uh, Liebner up. Hank Lieb Lieber is up. And they're not going to pitch to him. They'd rather pitch to A.J. Moore with one out. Actually, what they want, or sorry, JoJo Moore. They want to try to get the double play. Uh, and Hank Weber is not fast, so. Nice space hit, brings in the run. Nice. And on first and second, one out. Josh Gibson is up. Let's see what he can do. And he also gets a base hit. He's been hitting quite well for us in spring training here. And, uh,. Sam Leslie, another base hit, and we've got uh, Travis Jackson up, and yet another base hit. But they they get the second out, but we get another run in. And Whitehead back up. We have done quite well this inning. And that ends the inning. So, we get off to a good start. And now we get to the heart of their order. <coughs> Winsett, the left fielder, is up. Struck him out. Babe Phelps, and he gets a nice double. Not what we want to see, but let's see what if we could. Hello, there we go. Buddy Hassett, the first baseman, struck him out for the second out. And Johnny Cooney, the center fielder. And that should be an easy out. So. Now. Dick Bartell. We're back at the. And. Goodbye baseball. Nope. Not goodbye baseball. Makes a catch in the warning track there. Mel Ott. And two down. So he's doing a lot better. This, uh, this inning. So. Jojo Moore is up. We got two outs and got man on first. Let's see if he can do anything. That looks like a fly out. And that ends the inning. And Jim Busher, the second baseman, is up. One down. Earnshaw, the pitcher. See if he's going to bat. Yeah, he is. Struck him out. And uh, Ford uh, Garay, <coughs> whose name I keep butchering. And he flies out. Nice one, two, three inning. For um, Al Smith, our left-hander, 
And we start off with Josh Gibson. And he hits it. He hits it. Nice triple. Deep into the outfield. And Sam Leslie. It's one down. Jackson is up. The third baseman. And he flies out for two out. Uh, try to score. Yeah, but it's shallow, so we'll we'll take our chance. But maybe I shouldn't should have let him go because the pitch was coming up next. Joe Strip, second man in the order, and we he starts off with a walk. Okay, let's go to double play depth here. See if we can get a double play. And that's what happens. Get that double play. We get him wins it up. Gets a base hit. Goes through. Babe Phelps. And a pass ball. Gibson is not a great fielder. And they walk him. Okay. Got two out, two on. Nick Poley, first baseman, is up. And they walk him. Come on, let's see some strikes. And fly ball, it looks like. And that's it. And she get out, gets into a jam and gets out of it. Oh, we have a second viewer. Hello. Hello, peop hello viewers. Um, so, now we're at the top of our order. Burgett's Whitehead. And one down. How's he doing? He is... Okay, Dick Bartell is up. And two down. And Mel Ott is up. With two down, no one on. And that's a fly out. So he gets a good inning. Jim Butcher is up, the second baseman, and flies out. One down. Eddie Wilson, who is pinch hitting. Two down. Frenchy, well, name I always butcher. And he gets a hit. So now we have man on first. Two down. And let's see, Joe's. Ah, didn't quite get him. And he walks him. Lonnie Frey is up. And we fly out. That ends the inning. So we're going through this game rather quickly. Um, we're now going into the bottom of the fifth. How uh, Hank Lieber is up. Strikes out. Jojo Moore. And he gets a hit. So we got a man on. And for Josh Gibson. Let's see if he can... If he'll continue hitting well for us. And he does. He gets a hit. <coughs> he has really been hitting. Hitting well for us. Sam Leslie. Another hit. And another one. 
So we're rallying again. We got Travis Jackson up. We got two men on, one out. And this may be time <coughs> to start doing our substitution. So let's see what we got. We need to bring in a relief pitcher. So all pitchers, and you can't see this. Um, we have, let's see, let's warm up Dick Hoffman and what I may want to do is, let's go back to all hitters, all batters. I'm going to look for who I want to pinch hit. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to use Gus, the catcher Gus Manusco, and let him hit. And I may do some uh, other changes afterwards, but right now we and we still get a run. Yes, we know. We're gonna bring in Dick Hoffman to pitch and. Uh, I think we'll stay with where we are right now. Tom Whitsitt is up. And flies out. And again, hello to my viewers. Um, Babe Phelps. And we're in the top. And a, eat a quick ground out. And Nick Poli is up. Struck him out. So a very nice inning by Dick Kaufman. And we start the top of our order with a base hit. Now they have Dutch Leonard up in pitching. Dick Bartel, another base hit. <coughs> okay, two men on, no out, Melot is up. Now, um, I'm gonna try a hit and run. And everyone goes back to their base. One down. And Hank Lieber. Another fly out. So two out. Two on. And it's all up to Jojo Moore. Let's see what we can do. That on the inning. So we don't get anything this inning. And Dick Hoffman stands in for his second inning is pitching. One down. Jim Busher. The second baseman is up. And flies out. We got two out. And no one on. And Dutch Leonard grounds out. And they play this, take me out to the ball game for something to stress. Now we're right. Josh Gibson is up. And he gets a hit. 
And Sam Leslie is up. You know what? Let me get ready. Let me put someone in the bullpen who is not too tired. All pitchers. You need a relief pitcher who isn't tired at all. And that'll be Lloyd Brown. And let's go back to the game. Sam Leslie is up. And he gets a hit. And now we've man on first and second. No out. Travis Jackson is up. Now I'm thinking let's do this. Especially since it's spring training. I'm going to put Joe Martin in for Travis Jackson. And what I'm going to do is I am going to pinch hit for Dick Kaufman. And he strikes out. Uh, New York substitutes. Who do I have on my bench? I have... Who can hit? I have Bill Terry. So let's put him in. So, we have, we're at the, the bottom of the seventh. We have two on, one out. Bill Terry pinch hitting. And they get the double playing in the end. No, nope, they don't. They get one out. So now we've men on first and third. So Burgess Whitehead is up. And he gets a hit. Okay. Let's see. Why don't we go for it? We're going to go for it. And... Did we get it? Yeah, we did. And that should end the inning. But we got two runs. We're now ahead. This has been... We've, we've dominated this game. 8 nothing. And... We're going to bring in Lloyd Brown to hopefully finish up the game. Uh, third base and pitcher. And they Clemente, who's a pinch hitter. They walk him. Okay. Now we need to go to double play depth. Let's see if we can get that double play. And that's going to be a fly out right there. One down, one on. We still say stay at double play depth. Still want to get out of the inning as quickly as possible. And he walks them. Okay. Still staying at double play depth. And this is the heart of their order. And we get the double play. So, they've got... Uh, it's a, we're up, and then they get one more shot. So, Melod is up. Gets on. Hank Lieber. Strikes out. Jojo Moore. And that's the inning. So, this is it. I'm depending on Lloyd Brown to get this, get the three outs that we need. And Nick, okay, let's go to double play depth. Okay, 
Okay, one out. Again, go to double play depth. Gets a single. Again, we still want that double play. Okay, two down. And George Clint Caesar. Um, he gets a single. Alright, come on. We need one more out. Zeke Clemente. And fly ball. And that's it. That ends the ball game. And we win 8-0. And uh, that was a pretty good game for us. Uh, I just want to note, Josh Gibson, 3 for 4. No, 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 sorry. 4 for 4. 4 for 4 with a home run and 5 RBIs. So, this was quite a game for him. And that's why I bought him. And he was an incredibly incredible hitting catcher. So, so let us leave the game and save. Always want to save. And um, let's advance the day. Finish today. And we received another trade proposal. Let's have a look at this. We'd send... Okay, so they want minor league catcher. Let's look at this fellow, Russ Bowers. Um, not a great fielder, half a star. Pretty good velocity, borderline starter, good movement. Um. Mm, nothing great about him, but uh, good stamina, so they think he can fly ball around fly ball pitchers. And who are we giving him? <coughs> I don't know. I mean, I would like to see a little bit more for that. Um, I mean, he is how old? He's 22. He can also play left field. I'm not inclined to get rid of him. Not for a questionable pitcher. So let's see what they have on their roster. Let's look at the Pittsburgh Pirates here. Rosters in, oh, that's our roster. Uh, we want to do Pittsburgh Pirates. So... Well, okay, most of their guys are in there. Up on their spring training roster. Which is, and their 40-man roster is not full. But, let's look at prospects that they have. Um... He is, hmm, a 
the left-handed hitter, 20 years old, first baseman. I'd rather have, well, he only plays first base. I like guys with a little bit more versatility than that. Um, not that great a fielder. Uh, so, I am, let's look, at, yeah, I doubt I have a chance of getting him, but he has the potential to be very good short stop. Why don't we, hey, we can ask for him. Let's see if they are gonna agree. Okay. Um. Okay, why am I not seeing him? Here we go. Hey. Why not? Complete trade. How do you like that? I, I think the computer is letting me get away with a lot here. But let's go back to our um, New York Giants. I think we just stole a prospect here. And it's like, fine, if you're going to give me him, I am not going to complain. I want the kid. I will get. We have. Granted, he's a. We have catchers. Um. Let's go to. We have to. Handle. Uh, waivers and. Yeah, so where did they. Where did they put them. Uh, I'm gonna bring him up, put him on the spring training roster, and who was the starting pitcher I got? I think it was Jack. Oh, the one I wanted is, so, I am happy with that. Let's save that, and We look at our positions here. I, you know, Dick Bartell,
we they got a catching prospect and we got uh, a good infant now our catching I mean right now we have four catchers um, on our four man roster Roy Spencer two older ones Harry Danning's pretty young and he has an opportunity to be a three star player so I think we're okay with catchers <clears throat> I'll probably keep Danning in the minor you know put him on uh, minors and keep him on the 40 man roster because what I want to do is let him play every day he's not going to play every day on the major league in on the major league roster and that's the same thing that's going to be the case with um with our uh, new shortstop jimmy Pafal. they're willing to give him to me he's a kid um not sure what i'm gonna i'm probably put him in the uh the you know i probably put him on the double a team let him play and get some game time so I'm pretty happy with what we accomplished today um, and let's look at our front office I want to see if we're getting any cash here I would love to know how you get cash in this game because there's another infielder I'd like to buy um, let's see transactions where is my let's see scouts I haven't even looked at this Scouting budget distribution. Um, upcoming free agents. I want to see if I can find my... Um, and you can see <laughs> how... Cash. How do we get cash? I mean... Right now... I want to buy players and I don't know how to do that because if we're getting revenue and we and the revenue exceeds the expenses which they do and you get a profit that should be cash that should be cash and uh, I'm not sure how we turn profit into cash here um, at any rate um we will have to look at that and and uh take it from there so you know what i'm gonna save my file and before i end it i want to show you um you should be seeing this now um Oh, you didn't see any of the... Oh, wait. I gotta do this. Hang on. Gotta send it over. There you go. This is Baseball History Comes Alive. And... If you're not familiar with this website and you like baseball history, I highly recommend it. Um, the... For example, this article. Let's remember Dodger Town. This Dodger Town, for many years, was the Los Angeles Dodgers spring train Brooklyn, and then Los Angeles Dodgers, Dodgers spring training camp. Now, of course, as you know, all the Western teams play in our, you know, train in Arizona. All the um, East Coast teams train in. Um, Florida and they've got all organized little Florida and Arizona patches and so 
Dodger Town is now, according to this article, a training ground for um, uh, amateurs, uh, high school, college and high school team, international squads, even the CFL. So they have kept this um, they have kept this alive. I don't know if this is the one in Arizona. The current Dodger Town training facility. Notice all the little ball fields here. The buildings. I don't know if this is like Arizona Dodger Town or this is the the state of Dodger Town right now. This is during their glory days. Um, and so we'll sign Jackie Robinson's here, Vero Beach, and an aerial view, okay, Walter and Walter O'Malley, when I started following baseball, Walter Austin was the manager of the Dodgers. And here's a spring training picture. More spring training. And wondering if this is area view of Holman Stadium. And an arrow shot of so this that little water thing right next to more pictures and and watch an exhibition game I want to look okay so this may this may be how it is today that would be Holman Stadium because unless you go later on you see this lake Kind of, you look at these aerial views. Let's look at, got some good aerial views in there. You know, lake kind of shaped like that. Um, but it's right up against Holman Stadium. Uh, a little bit more distance here. But kind of. It's shaped kind of the same. So I think this is what it looks like today. Um, as I said, it's according to the article, it's a training ground for many uh, college kids and, and uh, international teams and so on. So it is still kept up. It is still in use on a regular basis. Got a whole bunch of ball fields back there. So um, there are some other interesting articles. Here, uh, let's see, let's go back. Ty Cobb, the article about Ty Cobb resigning from the Dodgers, I'm sorry, from the Tigers. Um, what does it say? Resign, resign, not resigned, resigned. Now that's not, oh, it was a lot more money back then. And uh, remember, back then, there was no free agency. There were no agents. Basically, the club would say, here's your contract. <laughs> um, and uh, one of his hunting dogs. Um, and this was an old timers, that's a colorization of a classic picture of him, and this 
is in the 40s or the 50s. And that's another colorization of a classic picture of him. He wasn't afraid to show his spikes, although the image of him is, you know, the epitome of evil that you may have gotten from the uh, Ken Burns documentary is, is now under dispute. Um, it was came from a biography that is very questionable. So, not that he was, you know, Mr. Softy, Mr. Nice Guy, and not that he didn't um, have some of the mindset of people born in the South at the end of the 19th century. Um, but uh, he was not uh, the epitome of, he was not the devil incarnate <coughs> that, uh, that some people have given the impression in, from, from what more current scholarship says, more current biographical information has to say about him. So, anyway, there's another article. And there's a silly one here. This is the lighter side. That looks like uh, Ted Williams. So, yeah, <laughs> so this is, Jimmy Fox, this is some of the American League stuff, and with Ruth and Gehrig. Um, Jimmy Ted Williams, Williams and Jimmy Fox, and look how muscular he was. He's trying to look. He said he's like, hey, Ted, you. You don't look that muscular and you're hitting all those home runs. How's that happening? How's that work? So anyway, um, Yeah, I guess he was sick during the season. Um, anyway, great blog. Highly recommended. And um, I think we're going to end it here. Thank you for watching. And um, we will 